Hey guys, today we've got another really cool horn to look at. So, this is a Leslie S3P or a Leslie S3C. So, uh, this is the only horn I know of that's ever had two uh, legitimate names in its lifetime. So, uh, the S3P, you're going to look at uh, like 50s. So, in the 50s and in the 60s, this was called an S3P. In your 70s, they changed the name over to an S3C. Not sure why. But then, in the 80s, they changed back to uh, S3P. So, uh, S3P, S3C, call it what you want, I guess. Uh, the way this horn is set up right now, it is closest to an S3P. Um, the reason I say that is because we've got bronze tabby power chambers. So, in the 50s, it was an S3P. Uh, now this horn is a parts horn, uh, we've just got regular circle uh, bells on it, but the manifold and power chamber are correct to uh, an S3P uh, in the 50s. So anyway, um, good sounding horn, um, I think. Um, I think a horn sounds good if it sounds how it's supposed to sound. Um, a lot of people would say this horn does not sound good, and it does sound very different but um, it does sound how it's supposed to, so I like it. Um, that's why I like the diversity of all the different horns. Even if they don't sound great, I like them. Um, so anyway, it does have a 25. It has a 37, yeah, 37, and a 55. So that's a weird bell combination. It almost sounds like a baby uh, S5T or a sick S5T maybe. Uh, so I don't know, you, uh, you decide and let me know in the comments below. So anyway, I'll flip it around. Uh, really cool. Like I said, it does have the bronze tabby power chambers. Uh, these power chambers date from like 1950 to 1957, and then you swapped over to aluminum. Uh, so anyway, uh, interesting horn, unique horn. I did get this from another collector. Um, so this, I think, has another video on YouTube somewhere. But uh, anyway, pretty cool horn. So anyway, y'all enjoy this. This is the Leslie S3P or S3C. Mm -hmm. 